types, but there's an A and B effective. Okay, so type 1 muscle fiber is slow, it's what we call slow twitch, meaning whenever you, if you were a um, triathlon athlete, all right, you're running for a long period of time, you're going to be using more type 1 muscle fibers, all right? Type 1 has more mitochondria, which enables you to burn fat. Okay, this is the muscle group that is burning fat. All right, very small, right, but high density with mitochondria. Type 2 are your fast switch. They're going to give out really fast. All right, you have a type A and a type B. All right, type B. If I went to squat down, all right, and come back up, I'm using the type B as I go down. Okay, so when I destroy those muscles with heavy weight squatting and doing eccentric exercise, I'm destroying my type two. Okay, all right. So type one is slow to get out. Type two is fast, and they're the ones you see. So when bodybuilders up there flexing, those are your type. They're mainly, their bodies have more type 2 uh, fibers. To give you a better example of this, you have big people, you have really skinny people, all right? So, have you guys ever known someone who can eat like a whole pizza and never get found? Okay. Chances are they have more type 1 muscle fibers, all right? Now, most people who are a little bit bigger probably have more type. Okay. Now, you, we don't really know that until you start losing weight and you're able to see your body type. But what we do know is, you know, if you're already a little thin and you can be healthy and you're going to have to have type one. Okay. So, in essence, type one is what we want to put. So, 
if we had to wait for the oxidative pathway to kick in, the dog would be that guys. Okay. So the idea behind it is uh, the way God made us is basically 